Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sean here, and this gameplay is going to be showing you guys a 27 and 1 chem strike. This is the second chem strike I've ever gotten. And you'll see this is a 6v6 domination game. I'm playing with two other friends of mine, and then the other three people on my team are randoms. Uh, but you see right off the bat here, I get a triple kill. But then I'm going to get my first and only death of the game right there as I get double teamed. So that's my only death but what I want to do is give you guys some tips on how I've been getting my two chem strikes now and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it so the first tip is use a silencer on your class now this has always been pretty important to me I've always used silencers on most of my guns uh, it just feels good to me and the reason why is right here you'll see none of them knew I was there except maybe one person but I can definitely easily sneak up behind people with a silencer and they won't know I was there. So that's really a good strategy for me to use. Now, the second tip is use dead silence and amplify on your class. And if you don't know what those are, I'll explain them to you. Dead silence, what it does, it makes your footsteps silent. So nobody else can hear you unless they're using amplify. Which what amplify does, it lets you hear people with dead silence and it makes enemy footsteps louder. Now that really works for me because I have a headset and by headset I don't mean one of those cheap $20 headsets that uh, Microsoft sells. I mean a Turtle Beach, a Triton, or an, a Titan, not Triton, I don't know, no it is a Triton, whatever, or an Astro. So I use Turtle Beach X12s and they've been good for me. I previously used X11s but they broke after about a year and a half. But uh they're both, you know, good quality headsets, I think. Uh, they're pretty cheap, though. They're about $30, I think, right now. Uh, the full price might be 50 or 60 but compared to your Astros, which are about $200 plus, uh, they're, you know, pretty cheap. So I definitely recommend you guys go and pick up a headset if you haven't already. Now, my next tip, use Specialist instead of Assault or Support. Um... So if you don't know what Specialist does, instead of the killstreaks you get, like the SATCOM and the Helo Pilot and dogs and stuff like that, with Assault or whatever you get on support, I don't even use support, never have. So instead of those, you get extra perks on your uh, class or weapon or whatever, or character. So you get extra perks that you can use. Now for each killstreak, I think it's uh, 358. For, uh, oh no, 359 maybe, or 369, I don't know. I use Hardline, so it's like 258, but that's another tip to use Hardline. That actually helps, because uh, you get a kills account, or assists that count as kills, so that really helps too. And then, uh, let's see, my next tip, play with a team. Uh, as you'll see in this gameplay, I'm only playing with two of my friends, but that really helps, because they're playing the objective pretty hard, and which kind of leads into my next tip don't rush too much and what I mean by that don't be doing kinda of what I'm doing here uh, don't run out into you know cap the B flag if it's out in the open like it is on this map because usually the B flag is pretty out in the open and kinda of hard to take um, so there's my 15th uh, kill streak, 15th kill on the kill streak, and my next tip um, don't go out into the open too much. Like you want to kind of stay in closed off areas that there's not a whole lot of ways to get to you. And don't be doing this right here. This is stupid. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I didn't die. But by this point, I'm pretty sure the enemy team is pretty bad. But next tip, uh, use a weapon that you're comfortable with. On uh, this game, I used an AK-12 and it's definitely my favorite weapon on the game. Uh, statistically it's my best weapon too. Uh, I have like a two point something KD with it compared to my next highest which is like the Honey Badger I think with 1.8. Um, but I think it really helps if you're accustomed to the gun that you're using when you're going for these high kill streaks like this. And um, another tip I would suggest using an assault rifle. Or getting accustomed to using assault rifles because they're most of them are pretty pretty good you know uh, most of them can take close range and medium range and long range 
I know with the AK-12, um, I can definitely kill people from long range, and I can even pe kill people at really close range against going up against a submachine gun. So that really helps, I think. Um, but, oh, another tip, on your gun, use foregrip. That really, really helps your accuracy, and I'm not kidding. It helps it out so much, because without foregrip on some of these guns, it is just so bad. You wouldn't believe. <coughs> Excuse me. But, there you'll see I got my 20th kill on the kill streak. And I think uh, with me getting these caps, it's actually helping out the kill streak a little bit. It might be. Actually, probably not. But, I did get my chem strike in 24 kills because I was using hardline. And if you're not using hardline on your class when you set it up, if you do use specialist and you get the specialist bonus, you will get hardline with it, I believe. If not, then just put hardline as one of your specialist uh, kill streaks. And there you'll see assist counts as a kill with the hardline, and I got the chem strike. So there it is, 26 and 1 right now. At this point, there was one person on the other uh, team, and that's why I only got one kill. But there's 27 and 1, gonna get this cap, and then that's pretty much gonna be the end of the game. I only get uh, one or two more kills, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this commentary here, guys. If you wanna see the last one or two kills, it's not very entertaining, but uh, I do get the final kill of the game, and I should have died. I honestly should have. So if you wanna stick around for that, that'd be great. But if these tips help you out, let me know. Give this video a like or a comment. And uh, let me know about my tips. Let me know if you guys have any tips of your own that you would uh, be willing to contribute. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. So I hope these tips really help you out in getting your chem strikes. And I will talk to you guys later. So as kind of an afterthought on the commentary of this video, I just want you guys to know that even though I have gotten only two chem strikes on ghosts, I have definitely had my fair share of nukes and moabs on Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So if you're wondering why should we take these tips on how to get a chem strike from somebody that's only gotten two of them, that is why. And I definitely get high kill streaks almost every single game I play in. You can ask any of the people that I play with on a regular basis, Revenge Monster, It's Falco, um, a few other people. So that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed.